Can't Still wait. ahead, looking for a creative way to spruce up your home for the holidays? Well, Mike Castellucci has some ideas for you that uh, oh, might get you Ooh. in a romantic mood. Hmm, sounds good. Also, if you're looking for ways to spruce up your home, if you will, Mike Castellucci has some fancy tips for you. How'd you like to have a table that looks like this? Where do you that. put the food? <laughs> to I don't eat know. on the floor. <clears throat> Where do you put your wine? Oh, there's a wine glass. You gotta sneak it in between all the fancy stuff. Anyway, Castellucci coming up with some designer tips. Candlelight, mistletoe, holiday trimmings to get you in the mood for love. Mike Castellucci stopped by one house where romance was definitely in the air. Mike? I'm just looking at this uh, table and it makes me hungry because I want to eat at it. Uh, but it's beautiful too and we could just... This is what you do. Joan Peters, Joan Peters Designs, designed this table, this holiday table, cheaply. I, I, that's, that's not the right word. Inexpensively. Inexpensively. Okay. That's a good word. And, and you have five tips. There uh, are five yeah. main things to adding style and holiday romance to your table. The first thing, again, is the centerpiece. Pick a theme and pick a color scheme. Okay. The second thing is the layered look. Use a lot of layers, meaning tablecloth, charger, uh, placemat, dishes, n maybe two napkins instead of one. I've got two napkin rings on each napkin. Mm -hmm. The third thing is put your wine and water glasses, even if they're your everyday glasses, put them on the table, they reflect the light. Mm -hmm. Another thing is candles. Use lots of candles for the atmosphere and the romance. I like to use candles at all different levels, high and low, so that it just creates a nice harmony around the table. And then you top it off with the accessories the little snowflake candles. And the beauty of this is that you can use almost everything on this table for the next holiday or at the next celebration, and all you're replacing is the centerpiece and perhaps one of the colors of the napkins or both, and some of the napkin rings. I, I love this. Uh, and, and you did all of this with pennies. I mean, just a, a, from the drugstore or the, drug the craft store? Drugstore, store? craft right. store, and discount store. All right, now I know you wanted to uh, have me uh, put ribbon in the trees. Yes, I do. Would you like to learn how? Uh, well, uh, yes, yeah, sure, go ahead. Let me see, let me see. Okay. Let me see, Joan. Let's walk over all right. here. All right, ribbons I'm gonna in cut the trees. Ribbons in the trees. I'm going to cut him a piece of ribbon. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful with those scissors. Oh, believe me. Okay. All right. Yes. Cut at an angle. And this is important, ribbons now, in trees? Yes. Okay. When you, when you do the design your Christmas tree, mm -hmm. hide the ends mm -hmm. and then do a little bit of a curve going in and oh, out look. of the branches. See, just that alone so that looks good, better than mine Bring the branches it. out over the ribbon. All right, I, I understand. And that looks beautiful. Let's toast. Oh, because let's Because that's toast. the most important thing. You have Absolutely. a... Absolutely. All right. Would you like to pour or shall yeah, I? No, you go ahead. And what would you like to toast to? Uh, you know, th this wonderful table. Hang Drinking on one second. at five in the morning. <laughs> you, you don't mind if I do this, do I you? I certainly don't. All right, here. Oh, yes. Oh, I should have poured it for you. It's 2%. 2%. Thank you. Send it back to you guys. Merry Christmas. 2%. Yes, very good.